The mother was perplexed by the ongoing situation. Over the past few days, her daughter would break into tears every time her stepfather attempted to embrace her. The girl would pull away and release a sharp scream, causing the mother great concern. Desperate for answers, the mother began questioning her daughter, but received no explanations. However, the mother was unprepared for the extent of the situation. She had failed to realize that her cherished daughter harbored discomfort towards the man she had chosen to assist in raising her. The revelation came when the mother discovered traces of red on her daughter's laundry one day. Fueled by concern, she resorted to drastic measures, retrieving her old nanny cam and discreetly placing it in her daughter's room, making sure it remained imperceptible to any observant eye. Little did she know, the footage it captured would shatter her world. Throughout the day, she made a concerted effort to maintain a facade of normalcy, desperately wishing that the camera could capture what her eyes seemed to miss. That night, she tucked her daughter into bed and exited the room just as her husband entered to bid goodnight. Despite every instinct urging her to stay, she recognized the necessity of leaving. Swiftly, she rushed to the bathroom, where she activated her phone connected to the concealed camera. Pressing play, what unfolded on the screen prompted her to hurriedly exit the room, racing towards her daughter. But before we start smash the like button and make sure to subscribe if you haven't and hit that notification bell so that you won't miss any new stories. For Mary Barnes, life was supposed to be simple now. After years of toil and hardships, the world had finally blessed her with a beautiful daughter and a loving husband. She lived in a quiet, beautiful neighborhood surrounded by tall trees and picket fences and was in line for a promotion that would do wonders for her career as an accountant. Mary's daughter, Summer, was just seven years old when it all began. For an extended period, Mary and Summer had navigated life on their own after Summer's biological father exited the scene. Mary's motivation to persevere was none other than her daughter, Summer. Throughout sleepless nights spent reviewing work logbooks and scouring job boards for freelance opportunities, Summer served as the driving force that kept Mary going. The mere sight of Summer's smile served as ample reason for Mary to rise early each morning, even after a mere three hours of sleep. Apart from her daughter, Mary harbored another force that significantly shaped her life her love for Adrian. This love had brought both joy and devastation in equal measure. After enduring years of consistent heartache and the seemingly unending highs of dopamine triggered by their connection, Mary made the difficult decision to end the relationship. Recognizing its toxicity, she acknowledged that, despite calling it quits, their story was far from reaching its conclusion. Mary and Adrian's romantic journey commenced during their college years where their striking differences failed to keep them apart. Adrian, the extroverted social butterfly, and Mary, the introverted bookworm, discovered an unexpected bond. Although Mary was initially drawn to Adrian's humor, she soon recognized the stark contrasts in their personalities. Their love became a turbulent roller coaster, marked by frequent fights and breakups. Eventually, Mary reached her breaking point. In the aftermath of their final breakup, Mary focused on rebuilding her life. She immersed herself in school, work, and hobbies, gradually finding solace in her newfound independence. Yet, despite her attempts to move on, thoughts of Adrian lingered in the corners of her mind. The void he left seemed impossible to fill, and Mary questioned if she made the right choice. Like with Adrian, Mary didn't expect to build something with Victor, yet she found him irresistible and easy to be around. But before Mary knew it, she was six months pregnant with Victor all but gone. She felt strongly she could be a mom and wanted to raise the little angel growing inside her. For months after breaking up with Adrian, Mary had wallowed in regret and pain. But all this changed when she gave birth to Summer. Like a bomb to an aching joint, Summer's big eyes and bubbly coos all but healed all the pain the young mom was in. But this story was only the beginning. Mary raised her daughter for five years, balancing work and motherhood. Six years had passed since Mary and Adrian broke up. Mary's world was turned upside down when she unexpectedly ran into Adrian at a mutual friend's party. The initial shot gave way to awkward small talk, and the old chemistry between them reignited instantly. As they spoke, Mary couldn't help but notice the changes in Adrian. He seemed more mature, more thoughtful, and less inclined towards the chaos that defined their past. In the following weeks, Mary and Adrian rekindled their friendship. Throughout the week Mary and Adrian spoke, Mary conveniently omitted that she had a five-year-old daughter. For years, Mary knew Adrian to be the vengeful type. He'd long had a fiery temper, which had landed him in a lot of trouble in their heydays. Mary feared what he might do when he discovered she had a child with another man. But when she told him about Summer, he was eager to listen. He constantly asked about the little girl and even bought her gifts, 
asking Mary to ensure Summer got them. Was he playing an angle, or were his intentions genuine? At face value, Adrian seemed genuinely interested in meeting Summer and building a life with her and Mary. But Mary's friends and family insisted that he wanted to cause nothing but pain. But Mary didn't listen to them. She saw this as a good thing. Two years down, Adrian and Mary had tied the knot. Adrian moved Mary and Summer into his home, taking over protecting and providing for them. Things were finally supposed to be easy for a hopeful Mary, and they had been, for a few weeks after the wedding. But it all came crashing down when she noted her daughter's behavior when it came to Adrian. One evening, Mary noticed the little girl trying to fight off Adrian's embrace, but things got worse. Every evening was more of the same. Summer would cry out whenever her stepdad tried to embrace her. By the end of the week, Mary was at the end of her wits. Neither Summer nor her dad were willing to speak up. But Mary installed the camera when she saw the drops of red on her daughter's clothes. Seated in, in her bathroom, the worried mom pressed play on her phone. The clock was inching toward 10 p.m. and Adrian was in Summer's room, tucking her in and wishing her a good night. The live footage from the room started playing. But it didn't take five seconds before Mary stormed out of the bathroom. She needed to get to her daughter immediately. Mary burst through her daughter's bedroom door, catching stepfather and stepdaughter in the middle of the act. There was no way the family would go back from this. Look, Mommy Summer called out, a bright smile on her face as her feet wiggled in the air. I'm finally doing it with her hands firmly planted on the floor, she was doing the most dangerous handstand Mary had ever seen. But the most bizarre part was Adrian by her side, also in a handstand, egging her on. He was laughing, telling her she was doing a great job. Mary couldn't believe it. Mary demanded answers, worry still choking her veins. Summer stood from her handstand, expertly leveling herself before grinning at Adrian. She explained that for two weeks now, she and Adrian had made a bargain to learn how to do handstands properly. Of course there had been some minor accidents on Adrian's part, which explained the red dots on the girl's laundry. It wasn't Summer who'd gotten hurt but her dad. Regardless, there was no way she was going to lose. Her dad had been trying to get her to break for days while she, too, had been doing the same. She'd been crying to try and make Adrian pull back, but he wouldn't. But as of that night, they had successfully done handstands and embraced tightly. Mary stepped back, explaining what she'd done with the camera. She described her worry, and her husband listened. He'd only wished to teach Summer the importance of hard work and resilience, but he understood how it all looked and apologized for putting tea.